Well, I'm resizing that 348 brass. But uh, it reminded me of something. Now, I've talked about this before, and you get in arguments with people about it. About denting the shoulder on the case. Okay. This is a full length die, and it has a vent hole in it, which a lot of the leaf full length ones do. You have to, because you start pushing that up in there, and you start compressing air. It's got to let that air out someplace. Now watch right, you can see that move. Now a lot of times what happens is that lock nut, the jam nut, ends up right over the top of the hole. And then you can hear it hissing as it pushes the air out. But if that plugs up, the air's got no place to go, and you'll get them dents right on that shoulder. And people say, oh, too much lube, but the wrong kind of lube. It's just a matter of, you have to keep that vent open. And that's where I run into trouble sometimes if I'm working, resizing, if it's below freezing. Because that lube will clog in that hole, particularly on the ones where it's under the threads. And that's the way my motion is set up. That die set at that length, you can hear it hissing when it comes out of there. But I'm trying a different uh, resizing lube. The Lee stuff, I, I normally use this spray on stuff, which is fine, but it doesn't clean off very well. I have trouble with it kind of gumming up my reloading blocks. And it, it's, it's like an oil-based stuff, so it never comes off or it's hard to get off. This is a water-based stuff. Yeah, non-stick, water-soluble, wax-based lubricant. I've never used it before, but it actually... Uh, you know, you can wipe it clean. That other stuff all stays you know, just a little bit greasy. But, that's exactly what I was talking about, was that vent hole here that lets that air out. Because otherwise, you know, you can't compress air indefinitely. I mean, it comes to a limit, and a full-size die it's a tight fit in there, you know, and you got the expander that's pushing the neck out. So it just seals it, and then you start compressing that air. And if it's got nowhere to go, it's going to start popping dimples in that shoulder. Like I said, normally not a problem, except when the, when you get the threads right underneath. You know, the, if that, bre that vent hole is right under them threads, and then if it's cold, yeah, I actually have to take it apart. I can always tell on the motor when I'm doing them. If I don't hear that hissing from the air coming out, I know I've got to take that apart and clean that vent out, or I will start denting them cases. <laughs>